Okay, so this was uh, you know another technique that uh, we had. Okay, high list and low list is uh, another technique. Before this, we looked at champion list combined with the authority scoring. Before that, we looked at authority scoring itself. So you can see that we're looking at a series of techniques. So here's the next one. In this particular technique, what we are going to do is something very radical. We are not going to have a global ordering of documents in postings list at all. Okay, individually within a particular postings list, the documents will be sorted. But now we are going to sort the documents not by doc ID, not by even by authority, but we are going to sort them by their term frequency weights. Okay, or their TFIDF weights or you can think of sorting them by term frequency. Okay, one of those those weights. Now what happens if we sort each postings list by TFIDF weights or term frequency weights? The term frequency or the TFIDF weight of a document in one postings list could be different from the term frequency or the TFIDF weight of a document in another postings list, right? So we don't have a static score now for every document. Okay, the score or, or the ordering of the documents is going to be different in different postings lists. It's possible that a particular document uh, with doc ID 15 could appear before a doc, uh, document with doc ID 20 in one list, but in some other postings list, the order could be reversed. Okay, likewise, even with respect to their authority scores, you know, there is there is no global ordering now. Okay, they are sorted in terms of their term frequency weights or TFIDF weights. So now how do we compute scores? Well, firstly, why would we do such a thing? Again, you know, you can see that we, we could do such a thing if we want to focus on the documents with a higher weight first. Okay, because they will be present at the head of the postings list. But then you'll ask, but you know, we can't have that linear time pointer walk through anymore. Right, because there is no uniform uh, score associated with the uh, with the document, so obviously we won't do a you know a walk through in the sense that we were doing earlier. But go back to that term at a time scoring that I discussed at the beginning of this lecture. Okay, think of visiting the postings list one term at a time. Okay, so the pointers can be independently walking through. Okay, they don't have to be in sync, but within a particular postings list as a pointer is walking through it it will keep generating the partial scores and adding them to the scores array okay as the second document pointer is walking through it will all it will be computing the partial scores in its for its postings list and then adding them to the corresponding document uh, scores that uh, it's uh, th that are present in you know for documents that are present in the second postings list Okay, I'm referring back, let's go back to the term frequency thing here. Okay, remember that what, what I told you at the beginning of this lecture was in term at a time scoring, you're visiting the postings list one term at a time and for every posting you are calculating a partial score for this particular term and this doc, uh, particular document. Okay, and then you're adding that score to the value in the cell for document one. Okay, so the overall value here will be the sum of these three scores, but these three scores can be calculated independent of one another. Right? So in this particular technique that I'm referring to, what we are doing is we are sorting each postings list by their TFIDF weights, decreasing order of TFIDF weights, and we can terminate uh, and think of parsing these postings lists using the three pointers in any order you want. Okay, you, they can be walking through together, but obviously, you know, they won't be in sync. But focus on each individual list at a time, and as a pointer is walking through the postings, it will be visiting the postings in decreasing order of the TFIDF weights. So it can, we can decide that a, that a particular pointer will stop 
once this TF-IDF weight drops below a certain threshold. Or we can decide that a particular pointer is go only going to visit a fixed number of documents in its list. Okay. So once, uh, uh, so we can do this and then at the end, once the, po the three pointers have reached the end of their list or once they have terminated even prematurely, the scores in the scores array will contain the TFI, you know, the, uh, the prox will, will measure the proximity between a query and the documents. And of course, this score need not be an exact score because if we terminate prematurely, then it's possible that documents coming further down in the list were not, did not contribute anything to their, you know, to the score, uh, to the score. But that's okay because they had a low TF ID of weight. So even if we had done the cosine computation for them, they wouldn't, it wouldn't have turned out to be uh, a significant contribution to that score. Okay. So that's, uh, uh, so that's one thing we can do. The other thing you can do is you can also visit each postings list in decreasing order of IDF. Okay, this is just like what we were doing in chapter one. We were in chapter one, we were visiting postings lists in increasing order of length. What if we visit them in decreasing order of IDF? That means we are visiting the rare term, the rarest term first. And the rarest term is going to have the highest IDF score. That means it is likely to contribute a lot more to the cosine score than terms with very low IDF. Okay, so we can consider the postings list of query term in order of decreasing IDF. And again, as we are parsing the postings list, we can update the score contribution from each query term and for each document that we are looking at. Okay, and what we'll do is we'll stop this process once we find that the IDF score has dropped to a low enough value that our Partial scores are so insig have become so insignificant that there's no point in continuing further anymore. Okay, so again, this can apply to the cosine score. This can apply even to some other scores uh, if, if 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 you if we had some other scores. Uh, 